Okay, um, somebody told me to get some vinegar and some baking soda and to pour it down a drain whenever it's clogged. Because sometimes it could be grease. So what I'm going to do is I have the uh, a pail with some of the baking soda. You're going to see the uh, chemical reaction. So it fizzes a lot. And then what I like to do is I mix it like that. So hopefully I'm doing the right thing. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour it down the strain, which was giving me problems earlier. And um, I'm going to put a bunch of this vinegar because the water wasn't going through. And that's why the toilet was overflowing. I'm going to save a little bit so I can make more of this solution. I don't know, I just use my, the whole, see how much fizz it makes? So, this was one gallon vinegar. And so I'm going to mix it up a little bit. And then I'm going to pour it down there. I guess it kind of creates like a like a bubble, like an explosion type of thing. If you want to get rid of that, just break the bubble because then you're going to have overflow. So as you can see, it's going down pretty well. But I'm still going to use this tool, this one. Drain cleaner, 15 feet long, and this is going to be going in there. Because I tried another one that gave me a good result. I have this thing that my dad left. You hook this up to the end of the um, drill. And then it spins around and it takes out all the crud hair and all that, paper, weeds, marijuana, cocaine, everything from with that little thing. This one is a very old tool. My dad left it. So this one you stick into that, that opening here that you saw. And you put it, put it in and you twist, twist, turn the knob. And then, it, then you pull on it to get the stuff out. And, um, well, a little while ago, this pail was full of crud that I got out of there. I had hair and some roots, uh, like plant roots, so that's usually a bad sign, they say, because it usually means that maybe the weeds are getting into your piping. So these are all my tools. Some of them I inherited, some of them I bought, some of them my dad loved and this is a handy dandy tool i loved it this one it's a little siphon like let's say you want to take the water out of this bucket you stick it in there let's say there's water up to here and you want the water to come out through this pipe here and you want to throw it in there or in the sink like when you want to empty out a toilet. So what you do is you squeeze this little thing here and one suctions up and it, and the water comes out through the second pipe. It's all a bunch of physics. It's got a little valve here. So you can tighten it because if you open it and let the air in, uh, as you would guess, if you took physics, the water wouldn't really go anywhere. You have to create a vacuum here in this little chamber so you can pull the water from there. Um, okay, well, another little trick I learned was sometimes you have to hacksaw your tornillos, which are your, your, your nuts here, the ones that hold the toilet. Or the ones that hold 
the toilet bowl, which I have over here. However, those are underneath. I don't know if you could see them. There they are. Anyway, that's my wax ring. I doubled it up because I have a deep, uh, whatever you call it here. I don't remember the word right now. But anyway, sometimes your screws get kind of funny and you can't really cut them. I'm sorry, you can't really take them out with, uh, you know, one of, no, not that. You don't need a chisel. Sometimes you use one of these, the standard, to uh, pull out the, the, um, the screws, but sometimes they're all oxidated, rusty. So a lot of times you have to use your hacksaw and cut them off. So then you cut them off, then you gotta run to Home Depot or Menards and buy some more. Okay, so I'm gonna finish my project because I'm uh, gotta do a lot of stuff. Bye.